What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath251 here and it is now over. Dragon Ball Super episode 131, the final episode of Dragon Ball Super has aired and is over. Well, at least in the English subtitle. <clears throat> yes, I know it came out like a couple days ago. I'm actually filming this the day after. I was going to do an episode recap of this episode. But um, I saw Devil Artemis had already done one, and he's funnier than I am, so I'm just like, you know, I suck. So this is going to be kind of like a reaction, but this is going to be a review, and we are also going to be discussing um, some hints about the future of Dragon Ball that are actually hinted in this episode. So we will check this out, but let's be going through the entire episode. You're not going to hear much of the audio, because I don't feel like getting sued by Toei. All right, because they have given me shit about episodes before, but this new format actually seems to help with that. So maybe it helps me, protects me. So let so let's go. Okay, so last time, yeah, Jiren and Goku were really going at it, epic battle as fuck. You know, I mean, it was just amazing, and Goku was totally owning Jiren, and then, like I said before, Jir uh, Goku suddenly got hit by explosive diarrhea. Yep, that's it gets it's horrible. Where will you be when diarrhea strikes? And Jiren in typical villain fashion monologues before fit before instead of just finishing Goku off, which Oh my god. Yes, let me talk about it for twenty minutes. About how feeble you are compared to how inevitable your defeat is, how the world will soon be his yada yada yada. And Goku fell from the stage, as was promised by the by the spoilers, but he gets knocked back on stage by Frieza, the golden man himself, and Seventeen was still alive. That was something that I don't think anybody saw coming. That was a pretty good, uh, that was a pretty good, uh, twist right there. So, conclusion, until we meet again. That's like the first thing right there. And Jiren still starts talking shit. That he's going to win no matter what. I know, trust with Frieza? I mean, that's not even. Not, no, no, just no. He's insurance. I'll be getting those giant dragon balls all up in my face, Frieza's saying. Frieza's feeling pretty damn confident right now because Jiren doesn't, his injury doesn't seem as strong. And Frieza strikes his damn arrogant pose as fuck. See, that's a pretty awesome move by Jiren right there, how he destroys that shit with the, by thinking about it. Frieza, despite the fact he got wrecked before, actually makes a really good showing here against Jiren. As arrogant as he is, though, Frieza's getting kind of winded here, so he's, he's not going to last. Once Shattered Frank is so fragile. See, Frieza's being his typical arrogant assness. And this is probably going to wind up biting him in the ass, as you guys may know. Oh! Oh! And now Jiren is beating Frieza like a damn paddle ball. I haven't seen anything this brutal since when Goku did that to Boo. I'm about to rock you like a hurricane. Oh yeah, Seventeen did something like this before. Oop! You guys know what happens when you contain an explosion inside of a small space? Yeah, it hurts like a bitch. And Seventeen still survives that. Dude, what the fuck is he made of? Yeah, there was no fucking way in hell that he was going to die from that. Oh, damn. He vomited, and it turned to steam in the lava around him. Frieza's about to finish off Jiren, and Frieza does something incredibly stupid by letting other people talk. Like, hey, look, Frieza's already doing his own monologue and shit, and they got the dramatic moment and everything like that. But... He just stands there. Just do it! Quit dicking around! You do not have time for this shit! And of course, Eggman here has to, has to chime in. Oh look, there's Jesse from uh, Team Rocket. Oh my god, and Frieza is still standing there. This is a problem I have with this episode. It, this is just... I know it's dramatic and crap with, you know... With, you know, friendship and all that crap, but... Frieza just... This just seems out of character for Frieza to not just finish him. Though, it is also kind of in character because Frieza's arrogant like that. And Frieza just... 
you know, just lets people do their final, you know, pathetic attempts at hope and everything. Even though it's gotten his ass kicked, like, no less than three times, he still, he still does this. And of course, once again, it bites Freeze in the ass. Yeah, Jiren gets up and he's uh, Jiren Rojo again. And Jiren uses Heat Wave. It's super effective. So Frieza and Seventeen are blocking this shit. Boom. Goku jumps in at the last second. Even though he was literally exploding out of his back a second ago. He shouldn't even be able to move from that shit. So now Goku is proposing a threesome between him, Frieza, and Jiren. Now Jiren's there with his... I'm, I'm, I'm stealing from Devil Artemis right here because that's definitely a rape face right there. Goku and, I mean, Goku and Frieza actually go all out in this. This is amazing. That amazing music and shit. Oh my god, this is beautiful. The two of them are actually fighting together. This is just like undamn believable. Oh, damn. Here's Jiren takes him with face, and 17 is offering long range attacks while the other two are tanking Jiren's hits. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, this is just like undamn believable. I mean, the entire series was building up to this, and it shows. Oh, damn. Takes them out, goes after 17, trying to take out their support. Goku does one of the best damn things. He throws Frieza. Holy crap. Oh, man. Frieza actually tries to take out Jiren with himself. This actually brings up a meme that some people have kind of done. Is that if Yamcha had been in the tournament of power, they could have had him challenge Jiren. And Jiren probably would have killed him, disqualifying him from the from the tournament. <laughs> this is just in the most epic of epicness. Holy crap. And Frieza and Goku have been elim eliminated, and so has Jiren. And 17 wins the Tournament of Power, and he gets the wish. The thing is, though, I don't understand it. So what they would have done, because this was supposed to be like the last surviving universe would be the winner. But what if there were more than one fighter of a universe left? Like, what if Goku and Seventeen were there? Jiren's heart finally opens up because of all that other crap. Jiren and his universe get erased. You know, we didn't get to see anything deeper with the clown guy, which looked like it might we might have when the Tournament of Power started, and then we found out this was going to be the last arc. So Seventeen makes the wish to have all the universes restored. This is some... This, however, was extremely predictable. Though, I personally predicted that um, Goku would win and wish for all the people... If the universes couldn't be restored, restored, he would wish for all the people to be restored in Universe 7. Thus, making... Instead of Universe 7 being the second weakest universe, it would be then the, the strongest universe out of all the universes. However, this is basically similar. So this allows us to bring back and reuse all the characters. A lot of people thought only Universe 6 was going to be brought back, or am I getting that wrong? Is 6 the main? I forget which is which. Oh, and there's the lesbian sisters are back. But I forget which is which. Is, is, it, is Universe 6 the main one, or is it 7? Whichever. But a lot of people were thinking only that universe is going to be brought back because they wanted hit back. And a lot of people thought only Universe 11 was going to be brought back because they wanted Goku to fight Jiren again, you know? I mean, at this point, with his Ultra Instinct, Goku's so damn powerful, he far surpasses even Beerus in strength, it seems like. I think we could have done without uh, What's-Her-Name coming back, that f ultra mega fat bitch with butterfly wings. We could have done without her. Amazingly enough, right here, Frieza actually gets revived. 
This actually is impressive for Lee showing that he can just do this so casually. So that means Frieza's back, but he's still not a good guy. See, even Frieza says himself, he doesn't tend to stop his evil ways. So this doesn't mean, like, Frieza's gonna be, like, a continuous villain. I really don't want to see Frieza become a good guy because he's not a good, good guy. He's better just being a villain. See, they actually reveal that basically this whole damn thing was kind of like a trick or some shit like that. They said, as retarded as, Zen as the Omni Kings appear to be, they actually predicted that this would be done. And that if any other wish had been made, then they would have just erased all the universes. That's kind of a dick move, really. So there actually was something, but I don't know. This feels like kind of like a cop-out to me a little bit, you know? <laughs> this is awesome. Beerus amazingly cuts in and stops Goku from doing anything else stupid. <laughs> oh, good going, Beerus. You, should, you probably should have just broken his neck right there. If Goku ever sees the Omni Kings again, he's not allowed to speak. Fist bump. He hits them so hard, he's like, <laughs> he squishes them. Oh, God. So that's the happy ending. Everybody gets their whole happy ending. Everybody's happy and, you know, smiles and everything like that. We got parties and shit going on and blah, 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 blah. Frieza's back and alive, but he's still a villain. Which I think will get other people happy. I mean... Nobody likes Frieza, wanted Frieza as a good guy. Everybody wanted him to stay as a bad guy. Because he's like irredeemably evil. Frieza's a complete dick. See right here, it doesn't make much sense. So that Boo somehow got fat again. While uh, waiting for everybody. That, that kind of sucked. That was something that was a major disappointment for me in this, in this uh, whole series. Was Boo had been training and had actually gotten like buff and badass. And then he... And then he just goes right... He falls asleep for like a month. And then just goes right back to being fat. I just think that's kind of a waste of a character. I'm sick of... You know... Of like... Side characters... You know, or other characters get constantly getting pushed aside. So that Goku can be the only one who ever does anything. So we got some aftermath right here. See? Frieza's back and he's got his army. He's not in his first form though. Makes, ask some questions. Emperor of the Universe has returned. Okay, well, Freeze is going to be causing shit. We got Goku and Vegeta fighting again. This is something that was dumb. F Goku says he somehow lost his Ultra Instinct ability or something. He can, he can get his God form, but he turned to Ultra Instinct like three damn times. I really hope they do another series and that Vegeta gets some more time in the spotlight. I mean, he got snubbed a lot. I mean, Vegeta always gets snubbed, but he got really snubbed. I mean, at least in Z, he got his fight with Android 19, where he just dominated him. Or when he beat the crap out of a semi-perfect cell, at least there was that. But, oh my god, man, this is just... See, they even mention um, another another villain. There's a lot of hints in this series. I mean, this last episode, that there's going to be more going on here. And we got the new movie coming out. And some people are saying that this movie is going to be the first... Well, this is probably just another wild rumor. That this movie itself is going to be the first canon Dragon Ball movie. Okay, that sounds interesting. And it might lead us into a new series, which would make me incredibly happy. No, that doesn't mean I'm going to be continuing my Dragon Ball binge. Uh, but I will tell you guys this. Today, in celebration of the end of uh, Dragon Ball Super, I am giving you guys two, count them two, Dragon Ball videos. Okay, you got this one, which is now, and there's another one coming, like, and it's going to be up in like a half an hour or something like that. But... So there's going to be that, and I'm really hoping, hope with me guys, let me know in the comments if you guys think that there's going to be another Dragon Ball series, or if you think this is it, that's it, that's just done, it's gone. I mean, I don't know. But there's a lot in this thing that hints, I mean, Frieza's back, you know, obviously he's going to continue his shit. They apparently say there's going to be some other, they hint at, you know, when the next villain shows up, 
you know, Goku will be there to fight it and stuff like that. I really hope in the when they if and when they start a new series that Vegeta gets more spotlight time than he did in this one. I mean, yeah, the one of the other videos says that um, Vegeta has defeated more opponents than. Um, Goku, but a lot of those guys don't even really count. None of them were even slightly a major villain. It's just, uh, it's just kind of lame how they kind of shit on, uh, on Vegeta. But his two, his big crowning moment in this series, like, I think it was when he beat, uh, God of Destruction Topo. That was, like, his biggest thing. And that was epic as hell. You know, I'm me. I'm a Vegeta fan. Vegeta's like my favorite character, and Android 18 is is like the best girl. Is best girl in this series. That's for sure. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out. Yeah, Android 21 is hot, especially in her Majin form. Uh, but um, you know, but I just like 18 best. I like, I like her appear. I like her design. I like her appearance. She's hot, and I like her personality that goes on top of everything. She's just like the entire package. I really like Android 18. Anyway, so what do you guys think? You think there's going to be more Dragon Ball? You think Dragon Ball is just going to keep on going and going and going? Or like until Akira Toriyama dies or something like that? Or do you think this is it? Do you think it's going to be like maybe like another 10, 15 years before we see another Dragon Ball series? What do you guys think? What, can, what do you think we can expect? I know we got the movie coming up, so maybe the movie will drop some hints, answer some more questions. I'm kind of interested in that. I mean, we didn't get much from that teaser trailer. We see an opponent's got a green aura and seems to be wearing something like Saiyan armor, so it's reasonable to assume this person is a Saiyan. That name is weird, but I don't know. Let's. What do you guys think? I am very interested to see what the future of Dragon Ball brings. Ah, Ah, but this was good. This was a very satisfying ending, though, to the series, even though it leaves you with some unanswered questions and leaves you wanting more, which I think is good. It's good that it leaves you wanting more if, but only if, they actually eventually bring you more. If they leave you wanting more and then just, like, cut it off, it's like it's like a series that ends because of lack of funding or something like that in the middle of a season or something like that, and there's no, like definitive ending it's it's like it, it feels like that if we don't get anything later but if we do get something later then this is a very satisfying ending way way better than the shitty ending that dragon ball z had i'm sorry but that ending was horrible that was just oh my god it was bad it was just bad anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that i enjoyed this episode my god the animation this thing was awesome the fight scene was epic as hell and this marks, yes, guys, the end of my Dragon Ball binge, okay? We are done. At least until the, the final episode of Dragon Ball Z Abridged comes out. In which case, there'll be more Dragon Ball. I know you guys have suggested some other Dragon Ball stuff. I'll probably get to those. I will get to them eventually, but that'll be, like, way down the line. Right now, I'm getting to everybody's uh, non-Dragon Ball requests, including the requests from the patrons. Those will take top priority. Uh, somebody suggested that I do a reaction to a video on a game, a specific game or something like that. They didn't give me a specific video, so I'm just gonna pick one. I'm just gonna pick one of the videos on this game at random. So just to see what we get. I believe Happy Phoenix is the person who requested it, so I'll be getting that shit to them. So you know, patrons come first, guys. So you want to come first? Be a patron. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe, guys, if you haven't subscribed already. We are growing this place. Still got about, like, two weeks until uh, the anniversary. Still hoping for 5,000 subs, 5K subs. I know it doesn't seem likely, but you guys are awesome, and I know together we can do this. Don't forget to hit up my game channel. Final episode of Shantae is up there. Looks like the final, probably the final episode ever. Still wish Shantae was a smash. Anyway. <laughs> So, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to share on social media. There's a share button down there. Click on that and spread me around on social media. You know, spread me all over like a like it's some nice, thick, creamy butter on the morning toast. Oh, yeah, I just could use some of that. Just spread me out nice and thin. Anyway, what, what was I talking about? Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.